upset. You just got it wrong, that's all. I mean, I wasn't looking away because I wanted to pretend your scars didn't exist. I was looking away because, shoot, I didn't know how many layers you were going to take off. I was just trying to give you some privacy. There's no need for that. There's nobody here but us cops. Uh... I'm the only cop here. Cadet. All right. Cool. If that's the way you want to play it. All right. Fine. When I, when I first met you and I saw your scars, I was thrown. I thought, damn, that poor guy has been through hell. But then I got to know you. And you were okay with it, so I'm okay with it. I mean, first impressions don't mean that much anyway. Now when I look at you, I don't even see your scars. I just see... I just see you. Well, um, I'm a mess from trying to fix your dead car. I should try to get these grease stains off. All right. So I'm curious. You say you know me. Well, who is that anyway? Oh, what do you mean? I mean, am I the guy you got stuck with at the dance marathon? Or the guy who bugged you when he said he wanted to become a cop? Come on, both of those were petty first impressions. I didn't even know you back then. Oh, and you know me now. How did we get on this subject anyway? Well... I'm waiting for the tow truck. I figure I'd make a little conversation, you know. Well, I'm not the type of person to overanalyze everybody, okay? You are who you are. I am who I am. End of story. No worries. All right. Man, mess. Do you, uh, you want some help with that? No, uh, I can do it by myself. Good enough. Well, come on. I mean, if you can get this messy from working on the car to get us both out of here, it's the least I could do. Okay. Well, I am a little different from you, though. All right. What's that supposed to mean? It means I am the kind of guy who analyzes everybody. I've always been that way. I'm pretty good at it, too. Don't keep me in suspense. <laughs> okay. You like to put your guard up around strangers. Probably a good trait for a cop because you play things close to the vest. Blend into the woodwork, try not to be noticed. It's probably something you picked up from your dad while he was on the run. I'm listening. But when I look close... I see you trying to keep people from noticing how you like to push yourself. You get a charge out of setting goals and reaching them all by yourself. Independent, which is very cool. And uh, pretty hot too. But we're talking about what's on the inside, right? Just because David's holding all the cards it does. Um, anyways, um, so you want my take on you? Here it is. <laughs> you know you don't have to do this. Oh, but you know me so well. Well, you can dish it, but you can't take it. Okay, all Okay, right, all okay, right. all right. All right, go for it. Well, you know, I don't know what I think. What? I think you're... 
You're pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't know if, um, if you've always been able to handle the raw deal or if that's something, some sort of strength that you got after the, the war. I think that, uh, I think that you're brave, confident, and generous, which is it's a lot to say. When, when I have a mug like this to look at in the mirror every morning. Yeah. Anyway, um, when I look at you, that's what I see. Just trying to keep the conversation ball rolling. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget this. Oh, yeah. um, these are from my car engine. It's like, come on, let me explain. You know what? Explain what? How my spark plugs just flew into your pocket or how my car was never broken down to begin with? Well, maybe I was just trying to score, you know, get some alone time with you. Trying to score? Oh, that's cute. You know what? One question. Was this your idea? Or did my father put you up to this to keep me off the case? The tight, come on. No, come on, no, no. no. Nice to see you can follow orders, cadet. As a matter of fact, here's another one. Walk your butt back to Pine Valley, because I'm taking the car. 